Fixing the instant station error has been an issue for so many people, but uh, don't worry, I'll be taking you through how to fix it within a twinkle of an eye. Usually, it occurs when you're having <coughs> issue with um, connecting to your database, but even though you've been able to get um, get the connection right, sometimes Joomla 3.0 still gives you that error of fixing the instant station error. <laughs> So join me as I take you through fixing the error. When this is usually the error you get, error displaying the error page, application instantiation error. So don't worry, we'll fix this. Just add on into your WAMP server. Add into your WAMP server, go to your drive C. And um, your WAMP server. Okay. Here is my folder training. Usually, the error occurs <coughs> in, the, in your configuration file. Just right click and edit with a notepad or whatever editor you have. So, you have to make sure that your database host here is a correct. If it's not, you just have to put in the correct database host usually an IP address or or usually local host and then the database password too has to be input here and the user but if this doesn't work for you well this is another way to I'll be taking you to another way on how to fix this so let's close this you no know. all you do is delete this configuration file delete it sorry you delete the configuration file delete then get a Joomla installation um, a Joomla installation I'll be using 3.1 so I'll open it up and copy out the installation folder from it into my my uh, website that is having that instant station here so I'll paste okay just wait for some while then <coughs> you you need to have the information of your database at hand I'll go to my web browser now and type in localhost then I'll move down to my folder where I have my Joomla installation then slash installation remember slash installation you hit enter then it gives you this um joomla web installation don't panic we are just going to work ourselves through so your site name still remains what it was before we have our site name as training and um, our description you can still enter your description this is a web design for training then our email <coughs> then our username you give it a new username whichever way you want so we're using admin and our password admin then I'll confirm our password again admin so here we click on next now here at this point you have to be very very careful that you don't mess things up a database type you choose my sql instead of my sqlite so choose my sql and your host name for your database still remains local host or if you are giving a, a an ip address by your web by a web hosting company <coughs> excuse me um, username for your database mine is roots I don't know what yours is but you just have to find out from your host from your web host then your password mine is empty you, you know what yours is then your database name is the name you used to create your website don't create a new database just use the former one you were using our own was um, royal 
ours was royal so you leave this at backup do not click on remove leave it at backup then click on next and um, just leave this and also click on next if you have any other information you want to enter there no problem you can enter it in there so we just wait while it creates database tables and um, does some other configuration so that's um, one way to fix if you've tried all other method of fixing um, the instantiation error by a uh, Changing some things in your configuration file if that doesn't work. This is the way this works. So <laughs> you've gotten your Joomla installed back. Just click on this remove installation folder, and um, once it's done, head into your administrator. And yeah, our site is up, back and running. Let's check our front end. Sorry. Local host slash training. So our front end is still good to go. So thank you for joining me on how to fix this error, and I hope you subscribe for more for more videos on my YouTube channel.